No, you're not seeing things. A cat who looks like a shark when he walks, which would be funny, except that in this case, it might just be the reason he won't find his forever home. Everybody wants a cute, fluffy kitten, which you can't blame them. You can't pass up a cute kitten. But there are all these adult cats desperately needing homes. Pounds and shelters rely on the spirit of Christmas to help empty their cages at this time of year, but with so many to choose from, one with an obvious defect like this would ultimately run out of time, unless an angel or two or more intervene. Hello, beautiful boy. Hi. Good boy. Hi. When it comes to caring about cats, animal referral hospital surgery vet nurse Casey Finlay is one of a kind. Ready for a big adventure? Casey is a firm believer in the fact that we can't save every animal, but we could all make a big difference by saving just one, and so went to the Campbelltown Animal Facility where Bruce was staying. Watch the table. As many of us are aware at this time of year, there is literally thousands of cats and kittens around Australia being dropped off or surrendered, being abandoned, being lost, and they end up at the pound. Um, for the first time in my life, I wandered into a pound last week at Campbelltown Pound. There'd been a fair bit of social media about the fact that they were getting very full and there were some cats there that uh, desperately needed some help. So I wanted to pop down and um, find out what I could do. I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I first got there, but I'd gone around and said hi to everybody and then I met Bruce. And Bruce had a very special problem, as um, you've probably seen in, in the footage already. Um, and I got a bit of an idea that, that there was a way that I might be able to help one of these really, really deserving, beautiful cats. Meantime, a little bit of paperwork to be done, then Bruce and Casey are off to the Animal Referral Hospital to see what ARH Surgical Specialist Dr Sarah Goldsmith thinks of Bruce's unique problem. Hi, how are you going? Nice to come in on your day off. Hello, Bruce. darling. Bruce. Hello, Bruce. How are you? Oh, you're all smooch again. He's just Hello, lovely. Bro. Oh, look at you. It's kind of fairly obvious, isn't it? <laughs> That's not right. Look at your shoulder going up there. Oh. <laughs> he's quite small, isn't he, for a Tom? Yes. Yeah, I mean, they say that they reckon he's about four years old, but his teeth are very clean too. Are you all smidgekins? Do you want to come here and have a pat? <laughs> You're a bit laid back, Dallin. Come on. Should be no problem with cage rest, I'm thinking. Oh, do I get a cuddle? Are you cuddly? Are you a cuddly puss cat? <laughs> Look at his paws. your beautiful eyes. Like, oh, oh. oh, you're gorgeous. Where did they find you? Um... He was found, I can't remember exactly where it was, but he was found, um, he just appeared on a person's property, so they don't live very close to anybody else, and just one day he appeared on the front doorstep, um, so I don't know where he came from, no one's been looking for no him. No microchip? No microchip. No collar? No collar, <laughs> nothing. Um, well, it's fairly obvious what's happening, you can see his shoulder blade go right up, can you? Yep. Oh, damn it. But he's using the leg well, so neurologically he's fine. Yep. Orthopedically, apart from the... So the scapula's just torn its muscle attachments here. So I think he's a good candidate for us to fix. Um, what we have to do is basically attach his scapula back to the ribcage, mm -hmm. back to the body wall. So we'll put some holes in the bone, in the scapula, and then tie that onto around his ribs so it's got something secure yep. and just stop it riding up and once it's scarred up the sutures don't actually hold it together it's all the scar tissue that holds it together mm -hmm. but the prognosis particularly because he's not really heavy he's a cat yeah the prognosis should be pretty good but I've never actually seen it in a cat I've only seen this happen in dogs and sometimes it can be quite spectacular I've seen really big dogs with that oh I can imagine <laughs> it's crazy but um yeah he's much better off having it fixed than not oh, and I much definitely... easier to find a home yes. I would imagine if we have if we have not fixed would you like that for a Christmas present, Bruce? Shall we fix you and find you a home? Yeah. Wow, now that's a pretty generous Christmas present. Specialist surgery isn't cheap, but Dr Sarah and vet nurse Casey are determined to make sure Bruce gets to see 2017 and beyond. That was not going to help him find a home. You're getting excited, Casey? <laughs> um, 
I'm excited for the outcome afterwards, which will hopefully be a new home for Bruce. I feel a bit nervous, like it's one of my own children. <laughs> but will the operation succeed? Stand by for part two of Bruce's amazing Christmas gift.